Hi all folks, this is Max from DroidRazorRoot.com. So today we're going to learn how to install a new ROM. Um, first of all, you want to have um, safe strap installed. If you don't know how, um, go to my site DroidRazorRoot.com. I'll have full instructions there. Install safe strap and also make a backup of your um, stock rooted ROM, which I also have instructions there. Um, do those things before you do anything. Um, that way you can always restore back to your stock ROM if something goes wrong and you don't follow directions, which is fine. So once you've got those installed, um, connect it to your computer and let's copy over the ROM file. I highly suggest to just download it on your computer and copy it over um, because usually these fi files are rather large and downloads on your phone is a lot slower. Anyway, let's go to our computer, or let's set this USB connection as uh, USB mass storage, and let's go to our computer. And uh, what we're going to do is you're going to go download the ROM file. Um, I'll show you. I've downloaded my ROM file here. Whoa. What happened? And let me adjust the camera. So this is the ROM file. I, I'm installing a Razer X ROM. So it's going to be in zip format. Don't unzip it, all right? If your computer decides to unzip it by itself, um, you better stop it. And you can copy it over to your um, internal. That's my internal, the first MOT, and the SD card. It, either one, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to copy it over to my internal store. Or actually, let's use um, let's use the SD card. It's a lot better. I'm going to copy it over to the K drive. Um, it might be different, but it's 218 megabytes, so I'm going to copy it over. And let me adjust the monitor here so you can see better. So I'm copying over the ROM zip file uh, for the Razer, Razer X ROM, which I'll have a review of after this also. So I'll be back when this is done. So when that's complete, so let's go back to our phone. Um, when that's done, we can safely take out the mm -hmm. USB. And we're going to boot into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Hold down the power button. Power off. All right. And then let's power it on. And if you have Safe Strap installed, um, you can access it by booting and at the splash screen hitting the menu button <laughs> so you'll see the splash screen right here here you can hit the menu button here and it'll take you into um, recovery so make sure you made a backup uh, let me adjust the camera All right, what we're going to do is, if your system is disabled, we're going to enable it by going to Safe Boot Menu. Hit the power button. And um, toggle Save System. Hit the power button. Say yes. Hit the power button. And let it do its thing. And we'll be back. Alright folks, so it says enabled up here, and now we're going to do, go back, hit the power button, and we're going to do um, wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, and say yes, hit the power button. Alright. Uh, it's uh, formatting data and cache, sorry. <laughs> um, I thought it was going to only take like three seconds, but it's taking a little, little bit longer. Bear with me here. And once that's done, uh, we're going to do 
white cache partition hit the power button and uh, yes white cache hit the power button alright and they'll format the cache again um, this is just you know just to make sure you get it done the first time and then what we're gonna do is go to um, mouse and switch hit the power button and we're gonna go down to format slash um, system and hit the power button say yes format hit the power button it's formatting system and then um, let's go back hit the power button and we're gonna do one more do one more thing go to advanced and uh, hit the power button and go to white dolly cache hit the power button sometimes um, sometimes dolly cache messes with things so and say yes white dolly cache hit the power button alright and that's done and we're gonna just install the ROM now all those things are just precautions I mean usually you don't have to do all of them but you know it's good to do all, every step go to install zip from SD card hit the power button and then um, install zip from SD card hit the power button and uh, choose external SD or internal wherever you copied it hit the power button and then go find the ROM file for me it's the Razer X blah blah dot zip hit the power button and say yes hit the power button and this will install the new ROM um, it will erase all your apps and stuff um, we just write it so if you forgot to do that you can always restore to the backed up ROM hopefully you backed it up and also you can use titanium backup to um, restore all your apps and I think there's an um, an option to actually use the, uh, the clockwork model recovery um, backup folder to restore your apps but I just use titanium backup um, do that before oh this thing <laughs> it swears while it's installing kinda of funny um, anyway it should be done soon and we should have the Droid uh, Razor X ROM running. Let's tighten all this up here. And sim linking, and we should be able to um, reboot. We should be done soon. So I'll be. Okay, when that's done, go back. And I think we can turn off safe, safe system. Or do we? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Let me see. Um, we should be able to just reboot. Let me reboot system now. Let's see what happens. That should be fine. Rebooting. Rebooting. And um, you know, if you get the new ROM, then you've successfully installed a new ROM. Just gonna skip hit search. And maybe there's a splash screen for this new ROM. There you go. So I've got boot animation. Um that's a good sign if you get to that point for this ROM. And it should pop up now anytime soon. Bam! So I have uh, once you get the startup screen, you got the uh, new ROM installed. Um, so next, I'll have a review of this ROM itself. Um, anyway, that's how you install a new ROM. See y'all later. Thanks.